we would now need to go and draw the free body diagram for the 5 kilogram object. Now remember that there is a difference between drawing a free body diagram and a force diagram. Free body diagram, dot, forces point away from this. But if I have a force diagram, then it's usually you draw the object as it is, in this case a block, and the forces can either point towards or away from it. But in this case, free body diagram. Good. Next thing, go and take a look at the marker location. The marker location is usually for you an indication of how many forces is going to be working onto this object. Now our marker location here is... Three. That means there's going to be three forces working onto the object. Let's take a look at where we find our five kilogram. We would notice though, yep, it's going to be having gravitational force, like all objects, working straight down. And you'll notice that there is a piece of string that connects the five and the twenty kilogram, which makes this twenty kilogram hang downwards, pulling downwards in this case on the five kilogram. So this is T1 then. But